Hi, I'd like to show you how to make a great cup of coffee. And uh, the first thing you have to start off with is some great coffee beans. So I'm sure that if anybody's looking at this, they're going to have great beans or maybe you'd like to know about what I use. So follow me. And uh, I start off with, uh, I found these great beans. It's uh, from Coffee Bean Direct. It's dark Ethiopian, Yiga Chef. It's incredible coffee. And um, what I do is I um, grind it first, and I put about, and you can dry it really fine, I mean, uh, grind it really fine, or you can um, do it the way I do it. If you, if you, if you grind it really fine, you're going to be making Turkish type coffee or um, Armenian type coffee where it's really thick and you make shorter cups. But I like a full, rich cup of coffee, and um, you know, like a cup. So I grind it to about almost fine. Can you see that? All right there. Okay. So, and then I do. Uh, I don't do drip. It wastes uh, all your coffee and gets all the. You don't get all the great taste of great coffee. So I actually stove top, and I got this through. Um, through a guy from um, from Africa, Ethiopia, that cooks his coffee this way. And I found out that most great coffees are cooked on the stovetop. And I bring this to, I've already heated up the water, so I bring this, if, I want you to really get a, an idea of what's happening here. You see how light caramel color this is getting? to this layer. Watch how it'll get lighter as it starts to cook. And I have the flame on full blast. You can put the coffee in when the water's cold, but I, I, I like to put it in when it's already almost ready to boil. And I put it in there. And as you see, it'll go light. Let me turn that down so it doesn't look well. It'll start changing color to a darker color. I don't know if you got to see that, but that's what's happening. You don't want to overcook the coffee. Then I'll cook again. Like that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna take this over to the stove. I mean, excuse me, to the um, the drip. Well, let me show you the drip I'm using. This is just a screen drip, stainless screen. It's the best way I like it because it drains faster and then I get a little bit of the sediment of the coffee in there and um, when I use paper it's great but not like this so you can choose to do either one and it drains pretty fast this is I'm making like about two and a half cups of coffee here and I use probably one of um, one of these here per cup which is what does that say quarter is that what that says, Ru? Mm -hmm. So, it's one quarter, yeah. And that's it. And as you can see in the pan, there's not that much left. It's all in here. All right. We'll let this drain a second. While I'm doing that, I, I like a little froth milk on mine. You don't have to have it. You can drink it just the way it is. It's about as smooth as it's going to get, just the way it is. But I froth this, and, and it's a little heater on there. It's pretty cool. And um, that's about good. We put the cap on. Now we have a thermos style. I do. Thermos. And it keeps it nice and hot. And... Uh, If you can see how rich this is, come on. Nice, rich cup. It's almost... And I tell you, that looks about good. We're just going to pop that in there. 
I don't use sugar in my coffee. With this coffee, you don't need it. But if you'd like a little bit of brown sugar or some, whatever you, your sweetens are. And... Man, I really look really forward to that in the morning. I hope you do too.